The rugby season in the borders ended on Saturday at the Walkerburn Sevens, with the host club celebrating their 130th anniversary. Stuart Cameron watched the action. There's not many places in the country which can compete with the Caberston Hoch ground in Walkerburn in terms of setting. And the annual tournament this year attracted some of the best rugby players in the borders, many playing on the pitch for the very first time. From the moment the Inner Leaven Band piped the first two teams onto the pitch, we were in for a festival of rugby. But having your ground situated on the banks of the River Tweed isn't totally without its problems. This event, though, isn't just thrown together, and the organisers had a plan for fishing out the odd stray rugby ball. After four hours of rugby, the final was contested between Walkerburn's near neighbours Peebles and a very strong Gala YM. And it was Jack Harrison who gave Peebles a 14-0 lead with two converted tries. Back came Gala to tie things up with tries from Stuart Borthwick and Fraser Hunter. But Jack's brother Richard stepped on the gas just before halftime to retake the lead for Peebles. Just the one try in the second half with player of the tournament Jack Harrison running in for his hat-trick. And with that score, Peebles held on to win the trophy for the first time since 1996. That's the furthest we've ever got in the competition this year. That's the first I've ever got. Anyway, so it's really good, yeah. Have you enjoyed the seventh circuit? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Good experience. Yeah, especially being a young player. There's a lot of older people helping you up. It's been good experience, yeah. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, Walkerburn.